Greetings Archons! No doubt you've been looking forward to the new Keyforge set Mass Mutations that was announced way back in January 2020. But thanks to this year's health crisis all new releases have been suspended. And whilst they announced a China release for May and rest of the world in July, who knows what will happen. However, appreciating you are eager to get your hands on new cards and rules, Fantasy Flight Games joined several other publishers by releasing downloadable content that you could print yourself. On their website are four brand new mass mutation decks to give you a taste of the new cards and the new mechanics. Simply right click and download them in PDF format. Deck 1 is Sanctum, Saurian and Untamed. Deck 2 is Dis, Logos and Shadows. Deck 3 is Logos, Saurian and Star Alliance. And Deck 4 is Dis, Sanctum and Star Alliance. So no Mars or Brobnar. Sorry! Did you spot they don't have QR codes? You can't register them, much like the original tutorial decks. And there are no backs to any of the cards or artwork for the Archon whatsoever, which is a shame. But think how much ink this saves you. After all, most of us can't sneak into work and print them out when the boss is in the stationery cupboard with Janice from Accounting. As far as new features go, all of the decks have enhanced cards, as detailed by the blue names. This is basically a tweak to the algorithm that adds some bonus icons to some of your cards at random. So on the right here we have an example of a card that enhances. Wild Bounty will put two ember icons on cards at random in your deck when the deck is generated. And on the left you can see that the Mushroom with a view naturally comes with one ember icon but has had a capture bonus icon and a draw bonus icon added by other cards in this deck. Likewise, Scrivener Favian naturally has no icons as seen on the left one, but one instance of her has gained an amber bonus icon on the right. And both these examples come from deck one. All four decks have enhanced cards. As this is the Mass Mutation expansion, deck two has Rad Penny, which is the bad penny we all know and love from the core set, but with a tail. Deck 4 comes with two copies of Snaret, which is the mutated version of Charret from the core box. And because FFG are good to you, this deck has not one, not two, but three Mavericks. Because you can't get enough Anafael, right? Although, what you have probably been waiting for are the new gigantic cards, which are two part cards with powerful effects. You will find one example in deck 3. But not to burst your bubble or anything, the Arkham Horror card game has five part cards. Just saying, you know, if size matters to you. Speaking of Arkham Horror, check out their free print and play goodies, which have just been released. When you open up the PDF files, you will see that every card is on its own separate page. To print them out like this would be an environmental disaster, not to mention a waste of your time cutting them out. So, in the Adobe Reader print menu, click on the multiple button and either type in or choose 9 pages per sheet from the drop down. As you can see, the print preview updates, showing 9 cards on a sheet, which is much better, only taking up 5 pages. You can scroll through and see that the last page only has one card on it. If you are printing all 4 decks, you can reuse this sheet for the last page of every deck. The next step is to print a test sheet for sizing. Check the print in grayscale box and as you can see your print preview updates to show black and white images. Also check the save toner box as it can't hurt. Now navigate to properties which is your printer preferences. Check the draft printing box and if you like you can check the grayscale printing box here to be doubly sure. Once you confirm all that, you are ready to print a test sheet for sizing, which won't use up all your ink. We just put a single sheet in the printer and then cancel the rest of the job, as this will let you see if all the settings are good to go. As you can see, this first run prints out slightly shorter and thinner cards, but still perfectly readable and playable. If you want to muck about in the settings with the scalability, then this is what your test sheets are for. Try and reuse or recycle them though. This is the reason that FFG put their cards one per page, because standard paper sizes vary all over the world. The US Legal and the European A4 are very different in terms of length and width. Check out the Imperial Chronicle videos on printing out Legend of the Five Rings booklets if you want to nerd out on paper sizes and the difficulties of international printing. 
But when you're happy with your sizing, print out the colour ones, cut them out, and you are ready to play. You don't need to be super accurate or anything. You can print them on cardstock and be ready to go, or slide them into sleeves in front of an existing deck to give them more weight. But that's not all. There is an updated version of the Quick Start rules with all the new mechanics explained. And if you've never tried Keyforge before, then they've given you a full set of tokens you can print out as well. And these are double-sided too, for that luxury feel. Enjoy!